I will check it out after the draft is done. <clears throat> That's a terrible rare. Hello, everyone, and finally, I am doing a draft because I'm unsuspended from Magic Online. Who am I? I am this guy. I'm all these people. That's it. Uh, so what do I know about Theros? Not a lot. I've watched a lot of Numa at the Nummy. Uh, I've done a couple of F&Ms. I've watched a couple of people draft. Uh, doing well at F&M, but what does that mean? So there's like... Leaf Crown Dryad's a very good card. Voyaging Satyr's a very good green card. Uh, the emissary is okay. The burnished hearts okay. Like I really in the Triton's all right too. I, I think it's one of the green cards, and I have no idea which one's better. You think the emissary is the pick? I don't think the emissary is the pick. It's not a bad card, but I don't. I would much rather have like either the Dryad or the Satyr. I'm gonna take the Satyr just because I think it's more explosive, but uh... Yeah, I don't consider it fantastic. Uh, Colossus is only for LSV and LSV-like drafters. Or maybe it'll, it'll wheel. Arena Athlete I think is a very good card. Uh, Baleful Eidolon, Cavern, Lampid, and then a Leaf Crown Dryad and another Voiding. Yeah, I didn't say it, I didn't say it was unplayable. I just said it was like it's you should it's not unplayable. It doesn't mean you should take it second. Uh, there's actually a lot of good. Any of the green or black cards are good. I have no idea which one's better. I could just take another Seder. But I'm not sure if you want two satyrs first. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm thinking, people. I feel it's better to uh, discuss the picks than just be like this, because that way people can tell me uh, I'm an idiot, or if I'm not. Uh, I like Insatiable Harpy, and we've seen a lot of black still. Uh, Scorpion, no. I, I like Scorpion too, but I think Insatiable Harpy's better. Or I could take the Horizon Scholar, but I've seen good black cards in the last two packs, so I don't know. Horizon Scholar's good too. Uh, no, I'm gonna take the Harpy. It's really good with Bestow. Ooh, Nemesis of Mortals. Uh, Seder Hedonist, terrible. Read the Bones, amazing. I love Read the Bones. I like Scourge Mark. It's not so great in green black. Not a lot of heroic. Disciple of Fenax, I also like. This is actually a really good pack. I thought I liked like the Prescient Chimera earlier, but I've been not so great with it. I think I think it's Nemesis here though over Read the Bones. I don't think there's anyone here. Oh, there might be people here. But I, I've been happily impressed with Nemesis Immortals. Uh, that's a late Heliod's Emissary. Uh, it's also a pretty late sip of Hemlock. Hmm. really like Heliod's Emissary, but... Based on all the black I've seen, I don't know, I think I'll just stay with the, uh, Hemlock. And... What? Why is there a Vaporkin here? Like, there's, there's some okay, good, like, artifact removal or enchantment removal green cards. There's some okay, there's like, Lagana Band out there, but they're Vaporkin. It's just, Vaporkin's the best card in the pack, it's not even close. Uh, Read the Bones or Lash of the Whip. Interesting. I have no idea. I honestly, I just, I just don't know. I've not seen this pick get made. You like Lash better? Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of things. Like, I definitely Lash. It was not, Rage of Perforos is not close. I really like Read the Bones, though. I'm going to take the Read the Bones. Oh. Ooh, ooh, what? At first I thought I didn't like Time to Feed, 
right away, but then I realized that it's like really, it's like, just because it's bad doesn't mean it's like bad, if that makes sense. That is, that is a bad explanation. Yeah. Hello, Alana Queen. How are you doing today? Uh, so this is the original pack that tabled. Uh, I don't really like the Prowler's Helm or Wild Celebrants. Titan Strength is a good card. Yeah, Titan Strength, I think. Also Wave Crash Titan, but yeah. I think Titan Strength will be better against me. Ooh, Cavern Lampard tabled. Pick up. I <laughs> uh, see you got another custom command. This time you're channeling another kind of robot. Uh, BFLI lawn tables. Uh, wow. <laughs> I don't. I think I'm taking the disciple just because I don't have any. Um, What are those things called? Uh... Dan asked me if I wanted a custom command. <laughs> I said no. I didn't. I didn't. Couldn't think of anything. He wanted me to do like uh, I don't know what the command would be, but it would be like anomalous readings have been detected. Anomalous readings have been detected. Ooh, Nixos. That's probably worth something. Also, Hero's Downfall is worth a million. Nick. It's only worth, like, five? Eh, uh, oh well. I like drafting at F&M. All the cards are worth a million, and the prizes suck, so you just take whatever. Uh, I might even play it. Yeah. Er, is it? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Nyctos is the pack. If Nyctos wasn't here, I think time to feed. Uh, uh, what is this pack? Oh, I agree. I saw a gif recently of the BMO chop scene. It was still adorable. So this pack is interesting in that there is literally... Oh no, I could take the Fade into Antiquity for the sideboard. Not to... Or I could take like a... Yeah, I'll just take the Fade into Antiquity for the sideboard. That's a terrible second pack. Uh, I also have a web camera now. So people can see my ugly mug. Paper Dinosaur saw it. He immediately insulted me. Because he's a jerk. Ooh, ordeal of ooh, ooh, what is this pack? This pack has everything I want. Like ordeals great. Disciples great. Time defeat is great. Uh I don't know. Have you looked in the mirror? Anyways. I have no idea what to take here. I literally... Like, Ordeal seems good, because I have, like, the Lampard and the uh, Harpy and Satyrs. But Disciples, so amazing. And I don't think I need the third Satyr, but I could take a time to feed. I'm not... I'm not Ramp. I don't want to be Ramp. I just want the Satyrs because they're good cards. I have no idea. I'm gonna take the ordeal, but that could be wrong. I like. I really like ordeals. Uh, and this pack's really easy because the Piper's not good. Hunt the Hunter's a sideboard card. I'm not playing blue, so just another Nemesis Immortals. Ooh, time at the Murder King. That's probably not worth worth anything. I've never seen it in a deck. The Murder King. Yeah, three cents. Three cents. Uh, so just a Paracas Cur? Ooh, or a Feral Invocation. I 
Oh, I think something will table from that pack. I'll at least get, like, the Shredding Winds back. I really do like Feral Invocation, but I don't have any good targets for it besides the Harpy. So I'll take the Cure to sort of um, stave off the fast uh, Heroic decks. Uh. No, I'm definitely black. I'm, de I'm definitely black. Black's, black's wide open. Cavern Lampard, you're... Uh, Sip of Hemlock or Agent of Horizons or Burnished Heart, but I don't think I need the Burnished Heart. Can't have too many six drops. That's a lot of six drops. But I don't know if I really want a 3 2, especially when there's three threes. This is a good pack for blue. Blue might have been the second color, another color to be in. White and red seem highly not open. I'll just take the sip and... Uh, hacks make me sad. I don't want to have to play the bad artifact creatures. Like, Boon's a good card, but not in this deck. Shredding Winds is a good sideboard card. Regen 2? Do you mean this? I could just splash like a Benthic Giant. I don't know. I'm going to take the Raptor. I, I think I need more stuff. None of these are good. I'll just take the Flamecast Wheel just in case I have to play it. Uh, interesting. I will take the Scourge Mark. And wow, nothing came back but the Shredding Winds, but I'll take a Shredding Winds. Um, I do have temp two Nemesis Immortals for the Commune with Gods. Which is a pretty good combo, but I think I'll take the Traveler's Amulet. Commune is not unplayable. Commune is fine in the Find Your Nemesis of Mortals cast it for cheap archetype. Uh, I'm not playing the Return Centaur, so I'll just take the gain, say. You don't cast it if you want the land. It's not there to get land, because it doesn't get land. Ooh, a Born Overlord? Well, it's not worth anything, but I'm already black. Uh, we haven't seen any of the Grey Merchants of Osfaddle, so there's probably someone snapping those up. But uh, Born Overlord's just an easy pick. Insatiable Harpy, or ooh, or a Grey Merchant of Osfaddle. Interesting. Hmm. Four. I have no idea here either. I'm leaning towards the Grey Merchant. The mid range control deck would want either one. Uh, well, there's another a Crow and Colossus. Oh, wow. A boon, a time to feed, or a disciple of Flanax. See, I don't have a lot of good targets for time to feed. There's like these two and that. I think I'll take another disciple. Ooh, ooh, everything I want. Um, yeah, there's another read the bones, which is good. There's a tormented hero, which is also good, but I think I want like another creature. It's sort of a low drop and works well with my other high drops. So yeah. Slashing the sentry wouldn't be unheard of either. But You should tell if you I don't know if you talked to Dan besides just donating to him, uh, Alana, but you should definitely tell him to stream more. Uh, wow. 
Sea God's Revenge? I have a Trambler Traveler's Amulet. I guess I'll take another Lampard. Oh wow, if you give it a, if you give a colorless Oh okay. If you give an artifact creature intimidate, it just can't be blocked. That's interesting. Because nothing shares a color with Oh, except by artifact creatures, obviously. But it like it just doesn't interesting. Uh, I have two sip of hemlock. Yeah. I don't know. I think since I've got a whole bunch of inconsistency in my deck, <laughs> I just want the thing that adds consistency. I could take another Baleful Eidolon. Or a Time to Feed. Hello, YouTube? Highlight this time? What happened? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's an okay re What did I take? I don't even remember what happened. Oh, I took Read the Bones or something? I don't know. I'm going to take the Baleful Idol on there. Ah, here we go. Staunch Hutted Warrior? That's like one of the awesome reasons. Oh, unblockable. Yeah. Yeah, I want him to do cube two. I think I think I can probably start do a cube if I I don't have enough people, but uh Stun Traded Warrior will take. Interesting. <laughs> How many ways do I have to target? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Mm, I think I still want the that thing uh, for the sideboard. Uh, how is a vaporkin and a griptide? Maybe I should have just been black blue. Maybe I maybe I took I was too committed to my early green picks. Like, because there's a vaporkin and a griptide here. Uh, I've never seen you draft Theros because you don't stream. I don't see how that's my fault. I'm gonna hate the Griptide. I just... Uh, I'm not worried about any of these. I'll take that for the sideboard. Uh, I still might splash that sentry. Uh, Dark Betrayal. You're not undercover on this account. Stream on this account. Just change your stream key on OBS. But yeah, I agree a lot. I wasn't really interested in the Minecraft. I like I like watching his music though, or listening to his music and uh, the cube. You should do more cube drafts. Uh, Benthic Giant, casual last pick, or whatever last relevant pick. Well, he might not be comfortable talking about it in a chat on a stream. <laughs> but he's uh looks just people are dirt jerks sometimes, so you gotta you gotta stay incognito. I do things on the internet that I don't want people to find out about. He's not popular enough for ghosting to be a problem. It's unrelated to magic directly, if I recall. Like, right. do I have enough devotion to want to play the Nykthos? I barely have enough devotion to want to play that acolyte. I guess I should have taken the staunch hearted warrior or something. I like that I have two read the bones though. Eh. Uh. 
Yeah. No, 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 that's fine. Yeah, he did. He did mention it, but like, it's up to him. Oh, see. Yeah. Like, I, d I didn't suspect he'd want to say it out loud on a stream. That's all. Though I don't know what kind of language to use in the PM. I have no control over what comes out of Paper Dinosaur's mouth. Well, except that I can, like, ban him or time him out. So what do I want? Do I want to land? 22? I do have a pretty high curve, because, like, even if those are there... I think I, do, I, I, think I just want to rate and run 22, don't I? Do I want something like over the scourge marks? Because scourge marks are pretty unexciting, like a staunch hearted warrior. Yeah, I, I, I'm down with the 18 lands here. I'm just wondering, like, this slot. Like, sort of like these cards. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's why I cut it. <laughs> I could run like a main deck. I could run this. I don't know if I want to run Nykthos. I have one, two. I do have. I don't know. It's really good there and there. This is good here. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, and I even like the ordeal on these. And you will never be a mod. Oh, you do you? I've never seen any of this. I've only ever seen you play, like, whatever that video game you played for a couple of minutes was. Well, I remember when Draft Magic just started out. So what do you think? Nykthos, yay or nay? I'm thinking nay. Yeah, I'd... I mean, if I play two of these, it's pretty good. Do I want the Acolyte? Not particularly, no. It's more of a four mana elf, or four mana land war elf here. I don't know. I think this looks okay. Uh, Soulbush used to be part of Draft Magic, but that was three year, two or three years ago. The last time I checked, so. Cannot confirm or deny that. Twelve six. That's not happening. Because these satyrs produce black if there's a swamp in play. Ten eight. How does that sound? Ten eight seems okay. I think I should have just went blue black. Just ignored my first three or four green picks. Just went blue black. Yeah, it seems alright. Do I have time? Alright, join me for the round. 